Hi, in this video I want to show you how to add the Collaboration Butler Communities component to a, uh, a Salesforce community or as it's also called an Experience Cloud. Cool, so this is the component and I'll show you how to add it. First of all we have to set a couple of uh, items correctly because this is a community and we need some data so it's going to come with permissions sharing rules all of these things we have to review so let's first take a look at our user i have here a community user called jack rogers and as you can see he has a profile for the community but most importantly he needs access to collaboration butler so uh, for this access i have given him the collaboration butler user permission set but also the PDF Butler user permission set. If there are uh, more fields or something like that that is also required for this user, you can add them and clone the PDF Butler user um, permission set and add those fields uh, that are required. You can do the same for the Collaboration Butler user permission set if that's what you like. But these two permission sets, Collaboration Butler and PDF Butler user, are definitely required. Next to that, uh, he also requires a license, so you have to make sure that on the user in the managed packages, the Collaboration Butler license is, uh, is there. We have to create some data, so in the component needs some configuration, and this configuration is done in an object called um, component data, as you can see over here. The component data is very simple, so uh, in this uh, setup we can select a name, you have to select an override user, so we expect that not each user on the community has access or has a uh, specific user on your SharePoint. So we have uh, foreseen here that you can use an override user, and this user will then be used, to, or the credentials of this user will be used to connect to SharePoint. All is done, of course, in a very secure, safe way, so that the uh, community user will never know the credentials of the override user. You have to specify which site and drive that you're going to use. As you can see over here, we have actually even added some uh, um, merge fields so that the site drive is completely dynamic depending on the record that you are on. And then also you're gonna, we're going to set the, uh, the path, so that's the folder path to where we want to uh, link to. And that's also with some uh, um, merge fields if that is required. The configuration also identifies if you want to see um, some extra options like for instance uh, upload and download so the inline items for downloading files for instance uh, if you want to see the field creation date so maybe that's too much information and you don't want to show that if you want to automatically create missing fields means that when a new let's say account is created and you want to or an opportunity and you want to automatically create a folder for that opportunity then a collaboration butter will first create that uh, uh, folder and then show the uh, um, the access to that folder on the collaboration butter component then you have the ability to create new folders in this uh, created folder so so that's an extra action you uh, have the opportunity to download files so if you don't want uh, your users to download files just see previews then uh, you can just uh, uh, uncheck that and also the option to upload files so that they can from the uh, uh, community automatically upload files to SharePoint so that's the setup um, important in this setup is that uh, we have an object called component data and we're going to use information from the user so to to be able to access that from the com, uh, community user we have to make sure that the permission sets are set but also that the correct sharing settings are set without the sharing of this data community users have no access to this information so in the sharing settings you can for instance uh, take a look at we're going to look for uh, component data so that's already here and you see that I have set the sharing for the community here to public read only means that each record uh, for this uh, um, each record of the component data is available for the community user if there is multiple records in the community data obviously maybe there's uh, multiple components on different uh, uh, different screens or different communities everything can be set if you want to build your own sharing rules uh, obviously you can just build very custom sharing rules that 
directly in Salesforce. This is standard out of the box Salesforce configuration. So next up, we need information from the user. So we need to be able to use uh, to read the user record. So we're going to look for the user uh, per, um, sharing rules. So user sharing. And in this case, I have uh, created a specific sharing rule for the user. So uh, as you can see over here, let me maybe refresh this screen because it's, uh, it says it's still calculating. Uh, okay. So if I'm going to look at this one, obviously you are free to create your own sharing rule. This is just an example of a sharing rule. Uh, I have given it a certain name and then I said, okay, if the first name equals Igor, which is uh, the user, and that's also my user that I used here uh, for the override user. So that's the user for which we're going to connect to uh, to SharePoint with. Um, that has, uh, if that's the first name, then I want to share it. And I want to share it with all uh, the uh, the customer portal users in read only obviously so that they cannot make changes by accident uh, so that's done everything looks good now so my community user has access to collaboration butler uh, has uh, the license uh, the sharing rules are there so everything is ready and now we can set up the experience cloud so in the experience builder i'm gonna select the component called collaboration butler community so uh, that's the uh, the one that i have to use on the community i'm just gonna drag and drop it here on the screen okay and then there is a couple of fields that we have to set uh, for some reason in a community we have to uh, set some uh, something like this here so this is a very important if you don't do that salesforce will not be able to read the records uh, information in a component don't ask me why, ask Salesforce. And then we have to set the component data name. So that's the component data that we have created earlier and shared with our community user. So I'm just going to copy paste the name here. And fill and paste it right here. So configuration done. Uh, and you see the component is already reloading and then it's already connected to my SharePoint uh, folder. Cool, looks good. So I can just now say publish. And after it's published, I can actually do all the stuff that I needed to do on the community. Uh, on my community, I have already published it here. So on the community, now you see that the folder is there. I connect automatically to a folder with the name of my opportunity because that's the configuration. Uh, if you want to have a different folder, a different name structure, you can choose your own, obviously. That's what we have seen with the uh, merge fields. Uh, I can say that I want to create extra folders here. So if I create a folder here, demo, then it will actually create that folder directly in that community. Uh, if I want to go into that uh, folder, perfectly possible. If I want to go back to the main folder, also possible. If I want to upload files, there are two options. I can say I want to upload files from here or even better, I have from my Explorer, I can just uh, upload files directly by drag and dropping. So if I just drag and drop a file over here, it will be directly uh, available in my community, as you can see. And then also I can download it from here. So that's the uh, collaboration butler component for communities to add extra safety to communities and I hope that everything is clear with this setup.